When it comes to creating logos, you have a lot of options. Some are paid and you have some free options as well. In today's video, I want to show you how to use this website called canva.com to create a logo completely for free using pre-designed templates. Put a link in the description to Canva and I'll put another link on how to use Canva for beginners. So if you've never used Canva, check that out. But all you have to do on canva.com is go to the template tab and find logos or you could search for logos on top. I'm gonna click it over here and it brings me to this page where I have different categories to choose from depending on what I wanna make a logo for. So in this case, let's say I wanted to make a logo for education. I could go ahead and click this and it will sort the options based on my selection. I could always create a blank template from scratch by pressing the plus sign, but I always like to use a pre-designed template to start and customize it. It makes the process a lot easier. So here, basically go through and find one that is gonna be close to what you're looking to have as your final result. You could always customize it as much as you want to, but this is a really good way to start. So let's say I'll choose this one, for example, I'll click it, and when you click it, it's gonna open this window. Now here, if you go down, you see the color, the font, the graphics. We don't need to worry about any of that. We could just say, use this template and click this option. And here, again, if you've never used Canva, I recommend you watch the other video, but let me just show you what you're looking at. We're on the template icon over here. So all these templates are here. So we could change our mind on this page and change this template. But since we already chose it, we're gonna worry about editing the template. So again, on the left side, to edit a template, you could choose any of these options on the left side. For example, if you wanted to bring a photo, you could click the Photos tab and choose any photo over here and bring it into your image. I usually don't like having photos in a logo, so we'll skip this tab. Elements comes in handy because you could have things like arrows or shapes or frames or charts as part of your logo, lines, these come in handy from time to time. For example, if I wanted to put a line underneath my logo somewhere, I could just go ahead and drag and drop it just like that, and it places it right here on my logo. I could always click that element, and when you select any element, typically you get a color option here. So you could click this and change the color. So if I wanted this to be white, like the text, I could go ahead and select the color or any of these colors over here and I'll click away. But most importantly, let me click this line and press delete. Most importantly, we want to change the text here. That's the first thing we typically wanna do. So that's the text option over here. You could come over here and see all these text selections and you could grab any of these and bring it here. But right now, all I have to do is double click my text, select all of it and press delete and type my own text here. So that's the company name and underneath, I could go ahead and double click this text, select all of it and type my own text here. But let's say we wanted to change the font. We could simply select the text, select all of it and you have all these options on top for font. So over here, there's all these different fonts to choose from. If you see the crown option, that requires Canva Premium. It's not a free upgrade. But any of the other ones, like for example, if I chose that one, it's gonna change the font. And if I decided that's not what I wanna do, I could always come back to this font. Next is your font size, your font color, your styling of the font, like making a bold or italic. Right now, this is already bold. And that's pretty much all I need to worry about with the font option. So that's how you would change your font and font colors. You could also click anywhere on Canva and move things around. So if you want this to be right in the center, you could use these guides here to just snap it right into the center of the page. And if you wanted to move individual elements on some templates, they come in different individual elements. So right now, if I click this, it's moving everything around. All I have to do is with the selected is ungroup. Everything right now is on the same group. So I could press ungroup here and now, if I select this by itself, I just clicked away and selected this, I could move this by itself before it was all part of the same group. Now, because this was a template and this was designed this way, I'm not gonna move this anywhere, but that's how you would ungroup something if they were part of a group. I'm gonna go ahead and just hold down shift and select all these elements again and I'll group them because at this point I don't wanna change their position, so I'm gonna leave all of them grouped. And I should mention Canva does save everything by itself. So when you make changes 
until you're done and you press download to take this off of Canva, everything is going to keep saving itself. If you ever make a mistake, you could press Command Z on a Mac or Control Z on a PC to go one step backwards. And if you press that multiple times, it'll just take it backwards multiple times. Next, you want to worry about the little icon that maybe came with the template. You could always add your own here too. So you could select this icon, it's selected now. And as you could see on top, this icon has a color option. So I could select that and change the color if I wanted to. So let's say I wanted to make this blue. I could change the color just like that. And if you wanted to change the icon, you could select it and you could go under elements here, the element tab that we looked at. And let's say we want a different icon to choose from. So I'll choose video in this case and press enter. And you could see all the things related to video here. So instead of this, maybe I want the play icon over here. So I could go ahead and grab this free play icon and put it over here. And then anything that you throw on your logo design here, you could grab the corners of and resize it just like this. And I'll grab it to bring it up. And to replace this one, I'll just click this one and press delete. Now I could go ahead and place this one exactly where I want right on top. And again, if I wanted to change the color, I could press this little color box over here and I could go ahead and change the color of this. So if I want it to be black or blue again, I could simply do it that way. And when I'm done, I'll just click away. So again, the same thing. If you see the little crown that requires Canva Pro, if you see the free option, you could go ahead and drag it for free. So we edited our text. We edited our icon. What about the background? Well, there is a background option over here on the left side. If you select that, you could see ton of different backgrounds on top. You have colors and then here you have textures. So let me go over to my canvas area here. Let me click the background and now the background is selected. You could see on the edges here and the color of it shows up over here. So if I wanted to just change the color, I could select that background. One of the easier options is just this color chart right here. I could click it and choose any color like blue, for example, or red. You can see what that looks like for my logo. In this case, I'm going to choose black. You could also select the background and choose one of these other backgrounds like this blue, for example. And if you select that and it doesn't change, you could just select the background here and press delete and it will delete the top background, leaving the other one you chose as your background. So now with this background selected, I could go ahead and select any one of these and see what that looks like against my logo. So in this case, this blue one looked pretty good here. And actually, let me go ahead and click this icon over here and I'm going to change the color that to red. I think that will look better against the blue here. So those are basically the main things, your text, your icon and your background color. Now, let's say you're done with your design here. All you have to do now is save it. So to do that, you just press the little download option right here. And PNG is the recommended option as the file type for logos. So you should leave it on PNG here. And if you want a transparent background, you should get Canva Pro. So you get a couple of different more options here. Even changing the size and the resolution here requires Canva Pro. And it's not very expensive compared to hiring someone to create this for you. So if you like any of the templates or if you have a little bit of graphic design background where you can make some changes here, you could upgrade to Canva Pro to get some of these options. But I'm going to go ahead and press download and it just saved it to my computer as a PNG. So let me go ahead and click that to open it. And in the case on a Mac, it went to the download folder and this is the logo that I was able to create using Canva. So now I could take this from my download folder, upload it to my website, upload it to any social media platform that I like to use it on my business card or whatever the case may be. So here, if I press X, you could see what it would look like on the back of a business card. And if you save it with the transparency, you could basically put it anywhere on any website and keep the background color the same. I hope you found this useful. Take your time with Canva, play around, use a lot of different templates to see what your logo looks like with all the different options you have. Please give this video a thumbs up. I post these type of videos every single day on this channel and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.